Hello guys, welcome to another video. I'm out here in the woods again today with the DD XL Frontline Hammock and I'm here to show you 10 modifications that I did when I got this hammock. Let's get into it. Just before I show you the mods, um, I must say, full disclosure, I'm not affiliated in any way to DD, DD Hammocks or DD Tarps. They're just a really, really, really great, great British built company that do incredible hammocks, incredible tarp all-ins and incredible shelter building for bushcraft and wild camping. Absolutely love their range. Such good quality build. Um, so I've... I'm quite a big bloke. I'm about 17 and a half stone and I'm six foot three, six foot four. Um, so I've chosen the XL Frontline. Um, it's a massive, massive hammock. I'm, I'm huge and it's so roomy. I absolutely love it. Ample room in there. Never had any issue taking weight. Loads of room because of the hooped, uh, the hoop bug net style. Um, and it's just, it's just such a great comfortable night's sleep to be fair. So yeah, like I say, not sponsored by the company in any way just here to show you some modifications that i did for the xl because i've seen a couple of videos um on the front line but i've not seen any uh, frontline xls at all so um i was a bit disappointed actually so i thought i'd make one myself just to show you guys if you've got the frontline xl or if you're thinking about getting the frontline xl this is some of the stuff that you can do to it these mods are in no particular order i didn't do the mods in this particular order. I'm just going to take you around the hammock itself, show you all the modifications that I have done. Um, I don't think that this was the first one that I did, but it was one of the first. Um, and it's a really, really easy um, thing to do. You can get um, a hammock sleeve uh, from DD. Um, basically, it just keeps your hammock nice and clean the whole way through, and you never have to take it off. You just um, as, you're, as you're assembling it and putting it up, you can just push it all to one side. It's got a cinch cord. Um, and it actually helps as a, as a rain drip edge then as well, so it doubles up, it's multi-purpose. Keeps your hammock nice and dry, nice and clean, off the forest floor when you're putting it up. So I actually swapped out the DD uh, carabiners for slightly heavier duty ones. So um, I've got these, which are just absolutely robust. They're still quite lightweight. Uh, lightweight sorry but they're um they're really really not going to budge anywhere so that was another little mod that i did was i swapped out the dd ones for um for some ones i got online i've also upgraded to their whippy sling system um so again it's a it's an adjustable um whippy sling um the feed actually goes into itself here as you can see um and the loop goes back on itself through the whoopee sling itself and down to the loose end here um, and it kind of works as almost like a um, Chinese finger trap you just tighten it like that and it grips on itself much in the same way as a prosic knot does and if you want to loosen it up you just pull this one instead of this one so really really easy to um, uh, make the, the small little tweaks and changes once your hammock's actually up you can actually come over here and adjust this side versus that side and just make sure that it's all to the right height that you want. The whippy slings are great and like I say they are just multi-adjustable multi so that you can make all the fine tweaks to your pitch um, and make sure that you're at a really really comfortable level. So I also swapped out the shock cord for this bug net for a much longer bit of shock cord. Um, so I just bought some cheap off eBay or Amazon I think um, and it just gives me a lot more um, length to actually tie them right out uh, to the trees here so yeah I think it comes with like a meter or so um, so I've just swapped it out for a three meter length on each side just so that we've got absolute ample room if we are between um, a wide um, a wide pitch so because of the, the nature of hammock camping, you get a lot of cold air from underneath you. Um, the next modification that I did was get an upgrade to the this thing here, which is the uh, the DD Hammocks under blanket. It's got cinch cords here, um, 
and then carabiner tie-out points that you can go out to here um, and out to the whippy suspension as well so um, yeah it just uh, it just means that you can cinch in some nice um, warm air um, have a nice comfortable sleep a little modification I did was these little glow-in-the-dark zipper heads um, so it's just handy just to see um, when it is night time in the middle of the night you can see where the zips are so they're really really handy they weigh nothing at all um, and they are let me see if I can show you there you go they do glow in the dark quite well too so they're um, they're a really handy modification and I can always see where the zips are subject of all things glow in the dark I have attached these um, little glow in the dark paracord um, you're not going to see at the minute because it's uh, mid morning <laughs> but oh, a bit of wind picking up but these are really handy just tied to the inner zipper um, so that you don't need to reach down to your feet in the middle of the night when you need to go out for a pee you uh, you can grab it straight from where you are and just pull and open your hammock and then get out also really handy the fact that they are glow in the dark as well they um you can't really see it but they glow in the dark just as well as uh, the outer zip ones do um you don't really be able to see but yeah these are really really handy uh when it's pitch black so the next little mod is on the ridge line and i've just bought this little lantern which is pretty good Again, it's not dark, so you won't be able to see it very well, but it's um, it's really handy to be on the ridge, and it's such a nice size. You can put your, your head torch on there as well, but I really, really like this little thing. It's so good, and it's almost like it's its own light bulb, and it turns this thing from a hammock into a suspended tent. It's pure luxury. <laughs> You've also got the DD... Uh, hammocks pockets here um, there's three interwoven pockets which are really handy as well so you can put all your bits in there your keys and your uh, phone and stuff this one was actually my first hammock mod uh, that I did and it was just to get the bug net out of the way because um, you can you can take the hooped poles out drop it all together and just have um, a normal hammock um, which is great for when you're sitting down but actually what I found as well was um, I needed something just to tie it all up so what I've done is I've just got these uh, little velcro self adhesive velcro rolls basically that I got off um, off Jade's dad and um, he uses them all the time for work so he just got me a load um, and they were really really handy for just um, just tying the bug net up which I'll show you in a sec So what I do once the um, once it's all dropped is I just unzip it um, from the hammock itself. So I'll just do this side. So it's nice and loose like this, um, and then I pin it to the ridge. So these um, these Velcro straps are just hang up the bug net like that, and then wrap them round, and it just keeps them out of the way. It's really really handy. So they just attach to the ridge line out of the way when I don't need them. Um, and then I just take them off and um, get the bug net out. And I've got three of them basically so that I can have one at each end and one in the middle spaced apart. And they're just really handy just to tidy everything up, get everything out of the way. They can be a bit fiddly, but the more and more you use them, the looser they get and the easier they are in terms of their mobility but look it just keeps them nice and out of the way and that's the the bug net the ridge line all the pockets everything all together on one string and then you can just sit on your hammock then without these getting in the way so that's the middle one and there's your bug net just out of the way and you can still sit in your hammock but just keep it out of the way There you go. 
And then the last one is much the same actually. It's one of these, but it's a bit of a longer one. Um, and what I do is I just roll up all the shock cords. So the shock cord that I bought to pull the, uh, the bug net out, I just hang up all the cord. Like so. And then, once it's all hanked up, these just stay there. And again, just cinch it down nice and tight with the Velcro as well, so that it keeps it nice and um, together, basically. Okay. Right, that's it for today's video guys i hope that you've enjoyed it if you have leave it a big thumbs up down below it really helps to support the channel so i'd really appreciate it um consider subscribing if you're new to the channel as well and you're into bushcraft and wild camping and also let me know in the comments um what modifications have you done to your hammocks did you enjoy mine today i was just showing you basically what can be done with the xl front line because it's uh not a very popular hammock it's a bit um, of an oddball um, because of the very nature that it's large so if you're tall or a larger person um, then it's a great great hammock I absolutely love it um, but because it's not very common and very popular I don't really see many modification videos out there or review videos out there or anything like that so I just thought I'd give you my um, my feel for it absolutely love it um, and that's just some of the modifications that I've done so yeah consider subscribing that's it for today's video and I'll see you on the next one Yo. Yo. Entering the planet we were born in 1990s Censoring the damage through the years quite precisely Peppering the cabbage every day with new rhyme schemes Venturing the...